Well, hello, my name is Mike Myone, and this is another My Own Magic... Well, wait a minute. It is not another My Own Magic review. No, today we're going to share with you how to make an interesting little prop that you can make uh, in your kitchen uh, that you can do with a whole bunch of interesting things. It's a transparent forcing bag, and you will make that... Um, out of uh, two uh, zip load uh, ziploc bags. Now, um, uh, if you want to see how it would work, it would work like this. Um, you would reach into the bag. Uh, let's say I have, uh, I have, uh, I want to force the movie Casablanca. So, on one side of the forcing bag, I have uh, a bunch of different movies, and I demonstrate that the bag is filled with different movies. Here's uh, uh, Vertigo, for example. And reach and pull another one out. And uh, what's on this side? Oh, it's Forrest Gump. Oh, great movies. Um, but now we're going to shake them up, mix them up really good, and let somebody pick a bag. Pick a uh, pick. Uh, a movie from the bag, which happens to be the movie I want them to pick, which is, of course, Casablanca. And there it is, Casablanca. So so it's a, a transparent forcing bag made from two Ziploc bags. Very innocent looking, cool little prop. Let me show you how to make it. Are you ready to learn how to make a transparent forcing bag? Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need two Ziploc bags, a paper cutter, or a straight edge and a razor blade or box cutter and an iron. This is a tacking iron, but you can use a clothing iron. Step one. Is to cut the flap. You can see that there's a flap on the bag. One side is larger than the other. You're going to cut that flap off. This bag will serve as the outer bag. This bag is going to become the divider. To make the divider, you're going to cut along the sides and the bottom of the bag. This piece you discard. This is your divider. Careful if you can not to crease the divider. And you want to get it all the way down. What you're doing here is uh, making sure that the insert stays in place, because that's held in place. And there you go. One side, the other side. Well, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Um, now, I would recommend um, when you make one, actually tack um, or weld the bottom corners too to keep that divider in place. You want to make sure that divider is in place and not any of the uh, items from one side of the bag are going to slip into the other side of the bag. Now, you may think that's too much work uh, and it's easier just to go get a Sven pad, and perhaps it is, uh, or to use Digital Force Bag, which is a great little app for forcing things or any of the many other ways to force things. But let me show you uh, an application that you can't really do um, with uh, a stand pad or a digital force bag. Imagine yourself at a, f a function where there are adults and children and you don't, you're not just entertaining the children, uh, you're entertaining the whole crowd. So maybe you'll have, um, uh, you'll have a 
We're going to have a game. You announce we're going to have a game. We're going to pit some children against some adults. And you, you pick five adults, and you put them on one side. You pick five kids. You put them on the other side. And the game goes like this. Inside and um, inside this bag, you have uh, lots of questions. Uh, and these are, some of them are hard, and some of them aren't so hard. Um, it's just the luck of the draw, whatever you get. Now, if you get the right answer, you will hear a bell. Maybe you have a little bell with you. And if you uh, take too much time um, or get a wrong answer, you'll hear a buzzer. Yeah, okay? So we'll know um, uh, if you got the answer right or not, and then we'll have somebody keep score. So you have uh, an adult reach in the bag, take out a question, and uh, give the question to, uh, to someone to read. Okay. Ah, here's a question. What can be broken but never held? Oh, that's a tough question, isn't it? You give them five seconds. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, what can be broken and but never held? What is the answer? Oh, it's a promise, of course. <laughs> it be never held. Uh, I can't, you can't hold a promise. No. Uh, so now it's the kid's turn. Uh, we haven't got any score yet for the adults. So uh, let the kid reach inside and pick a question, and then you have someone on the other team read the question. And the question is, what is your name? And uh, little Tommy says his name is Thomas. And we have now one point for the kids, no points for the adults, and you go on until the, the game is over. So uh, another use for a, um, uh, a uh, transparent forcing bag. I can't wait to do this. It's so much fun. That's it for uh, for this week. Uh, no review. We have something. We had something a little different. Something you can do. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give us a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed. I hope you will subscribe and you'll hit that bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a uh, a review or. Uh, something like this. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I hope you'll share this. I hope you'll comment, especially if you make one of these things. Let me know how it works out for you. And uh, until next time, well, have fun making some magic props at home.